Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Today's video is going to be very interesting because here we will see different forms of uh, energies and their interconversion. Here we will know the law of conservation of energy and will understand how the energy cannot be destroyed or created. It can only be transformed from one form to another form. Okay, this is very interesting simulation. I will explain you whatever I am doing here, how the energy is converting from one form to another form. Okay, so let's start. I am opening this uh, water tap. Okay, and uh, this mechanical energy, the energy, potential energy present in the water is converted into the again into the mechanical energy of another type okay it is again mechanical energy you see gray color of e gray color of e means the mechanical energy okay and this this uh, blue color means electrical energy okay red is thermal e you see at this place uh, yellow is for light and green is for chemical energy particles okay these are the energy symbols so this gray colored energy this is the mechanical en mechanical energy is again converted back into a uh, different type of mechanical energy by rotating this wheel and this wheel is attached to this generator and this generator is converting this mechanical energy into the electrical energy you see this uh, sky blue colored e it means electrical energy and this electrical energy is used to turn on the heater and this heater is turning this uh, water into vapor or you can say this electrical energy is converting into the thermal energy you see here that uh, uh, red colored particles energy particles energy symbols are coming out they are the thermal form so here the mechanical energy mechanical energy converted again into different type of mechanical energy by rotating this and again mechanical to electrical then ele mechanical to electrical and electrical to thermal so you see that energy is converting from one form to another form it is not destroyed now let's see another example of this here here is the controller of heat what will i do here i will increase the heat you see the color of these energy particles okay as i am increasing this heat so this is providing us uh, red colored e red colored e means thermal you see these notations red colored means this thermal energy by the flame of uh, flame okay fire flames and this heat is converting this uh, whatever it is uh, water inside it so it is converting this into vapor and vapor has two forms okay because of the pressure of this vapor it is having mechanical energy you see gray colored uh, energy particles okay so it is mechanical energy uh, the pressure due to this vapor and also the heat form this mechanical energy is rotating this wheel in this direction and it is again converting into electrical energy by this generator and the water let's see the system faster a little bit faster see this system this is again a mechanical system and uh, i will change this system also in the middle and uh, also on the output side so let's increase the speed as i will increase the speed of this uh, bicycle's wheel so it is what it is the conversion of mechanical energy okay what happening uh, what is happening here here you see it is green colored green colored means it is the chemical energy you see here the notations on the right side so chemical energy means the energy that this girl is having because of uh, uh, that uh, that she acquired from the food okay let's feed feed her so it is getting energy from the food this is in the form of chemical and chemical is converting uh, energy is converting back into uh, is converting into the mechanical energy and some heat energy is also being dissipated because of these uh, various uh, frictions in this so it is uh, loss of energy and some part is converting into feed me it is she's saying that feed me so it's uh, she's exhausted so it is converting into mechanical energy okay i can increase the speed okay chemical energy is getting exhausted and mechanical energy back to this uh, thermal energy let's change this system okay at this place now you see if i do not have right uh, kind of uh, uh, input at this side then this is the solar plate and i need only the solar uh, for solar plate i need the sun okay the solar energy 
here I can control the clouds lots of clouds on the upside okay if I control the cloud so energy will be reduced let's uh, take it to high none cloud no clouds so it is in the form of light energy sun is giving light energy in the form of photons okay and these yellow colored okay yellow colored energy is the photons are uh, falling on this uh, photo cells photovoltaic cells okay solar plates and this uh, light energy is converting into blue colored energy blue colored energy particles you can see okay these particles this is electrical energy we know that solar is converted into electrical energy energy of photons is uh, releasing electrons so this is the energy and this is converting uh, generating electrical energy is generating generated and it is again he, used to heat this water to produce the heat energy okay thermal energy and also you can see that uh, so this is okay now let's change this system back to this and uh, change few things uh, on this output side let's uh, use this okay light bulb since this uh, sun is doing nothing with this wheel so I will change this sun okay now again uh, open this tab and because of this mechanical energy of flow of water this wheel is rotating generating energy mechanical to mechanical then again mechanical to this electrical and electrical is little bit generated thermal energy and initially you saw uh, red uh, energy par red particles means thermal energy and again after this it is uh, emitting the light particles so mechanical energy has been converted ulti ultimately into the light energy okay so this is the way energy is transformed from one form to another let's uh, use some another thing here this is uh, the same thing but the different kind of light bulb okay this is again mechanical to uh, light energy and sometimes so you see that um, red particles are also emitted because it is also getting heated so light and uh, thermal are the outputs you change it this is uh, a wheel okay or you can say a turbine like thing or you can say fan whatever so this mechanical energy is converting into electrical and this electrical energy is used to rotate this wheel okay rotate this turbine or fan so here we saw different forms of energy it is important to use the right uh, input and uh, the system so that it should be efficiently converted into another form so here it is the mechanical energy here it is mechanical again mechanical to rotating wheel mechanical and this is generator or you can say motor and this is again rotating this wheel so it is uh, back to the mechanical so ultimately mechanical to mechanical okay so there are various uh, things uh, that you can do with this experiment uh, and uh, energy transformation from one form to another so i hope you liked the concept and understood what i wanted to tell you so this is the law of conservation of energy we cannot destroy the energy energy can neither be created nor can be destroyed it can only be transformed from one form of energy to another this is the law of conservation of energy okay so did you enjoyed the video if yes then please subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such useful and interesting videos and share and like the video if you have not subscribed my channel engineering made easy please subscribe it so that you can see more such videos in future as soon as i release them thank you for watching guys see you soon in the next video till then bye bye take care Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. 
and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye